Hello, my name is Alex McGregor, and today I'm going to show you how to use your Olympus camera to make images like this one. That image you just saw was made using the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark III, as well as the 17mm 1.2 lens from Olympus. And Olympus has two amazing features that make creating star images like this one much, much easier and quicker. The first one is a star autofocus feature, which does what it claims. It automatically focuses on the stars for you. And also there's the live composite feature found in these cameras. And I'll show you exactly how that works later. So let's go back to my house and I'll actually show you how to set up your Olympus camera to create images like that one. Now I'm going to show you guys how to set up your camera to use the star autofocus. First thing we want to do is make sure our lens is in the autofocus mode. Now to activate the star autofocus really is quite easy. If you go into your menu and down to the settings tab and over to A4, the starry autofocus setting is the first option there. Here you have two different options, accuracy and speed. Speed is good for when you're hand holding your camera and you want to get pictures of the stars, but accuracy is what we're going to be using tonight. It's better for when you're working on a tripod. So we'll select that and go back to our shooting mode and bringing up our quick menu, we can choose our autofocus setting. I'm gonna go from single autofocus over to star autofocus. And it really is that simple for setting up your star autofocus on an Olympus camera. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your live composite mode. Again, going into the menu, we're gonna go down to E2. And here under our live composite timer, we can set the amount of time we want the camera to stay open and exposing. You can set it all the way from just a few minutes up to several hours, looks like six hours there. For our image tonight, we're gonna to use one hour. So I'll hit OK there. Now to activate the live composite mode, I'm going to turn the camera from manual to bulb. Now I'm going to use the front dial by the shutter button to go from bulb to live time to live composite. And now that we're in the live composite mode, we can hit the menu button again and choose our exposure time for our live composite images. I want to be shooting 30 second images and have the camera compile those over the course of an hour. So I'm going to hit 30 seconds. By hitting OK, we can set that and I'm going to half click the shutter button once again. Now we're ready to go ahead and do our autofocus and start our live composite. So I'm going to wait until the stars come out and I will see you guys back out at the lake. All right, so we're out here at the lake and it's a nice chilly night, but the stars are out and we actually have a couple of clouds rolling through, which will give it even a cooler look. So I'm excited for tonight. Uh, I am going to use that star autofocus feature right now. And before I start my live composite, I'm actually going to take a manual exposure at 30 seconds, just to make sure I like how my exposure looks, make sure nothing's too bright, nothing's too dark. It's all exposed the way I'd like it. And then we will switch over to bulb mode and go start that live composite. So right now I'm actually going to bring you guys in and have you look at the back of the screen so you can see how that star autofocus works and you can watch that live composite happen. Let's do it. All right, now we're looking at the back of the screen. I have the star autofocus option selected. So I'm going to hit the A-E-L-A-F-L -L button to start that autofocus and we can watch it happen. All right, so now we got our star autofocus done. I've adjusted my time to 30 seconds, so I'm gonna take that test exposure and see how we like it. Okay, so it looks a little bright on the video, but I'm liking for the most part how that looks. I think I might back down the ISO to 400, so I'm decreasing it by one stop, and I'm taking another exposure. 
A really important thing for when you are doing these star trails is making sure you get some good test images because when you start that live composite, you're committed to that exposure for an hour or a half hour. So this might take a couple of minutes to dial in, but it will be crucial once we start going for the big shot. Okay, I'm liking how that looks better. We have a really nice star exposure and we have some cool light trails from the cars. So I think we're ready to go. So I am going to switch over to bulb mode. And now we're already in live composite. We have our settings all set. So I am ready to hit that shutter button and prepare for composite shooting. Okay, we're all ready to start. So I'm going to hit that shutter button again and let her run and you guys will be able to watch the progress. All right, that was an awesome hour. Looks like this shot turned out really cool. So let's head inside and take a look at it on the computer and warm up a bit. Yep, definitely warm up a bit. Oh, that's better. Now we're all warmed up inside with some coffee and we can take a look at this picture that we got. First impressions are awesome. Uh, one thing I noticed right away is how colorful the stars are. And the stars are naturally that color. That's not anything artificial or anything uh, that I added in post-processing, but the details in the night sky are very colorful. So one key way of not blowing out the stars and destroying that color, turning them to perfectly white, is watching your exposure. If you remember when I went from 800 ISO down to 400, one of the reasons is because I wanted to maintain these good colors in the sky and that worked out perfectly. One kind of funny little detail we can look at is the airplane trails that were captured. That's pretty much impossible to avoid when you're getting star trails, but it's really not too hard of a fix. You can go in with your clone stamp tool or the spot removal tool in Lightroom and take a few minutes, but you can get rid of that. So. Yeah, I'm super impressed. And the biggest reason why I love doing this with the Olympus cameras is because if I use one of my other cameras, I have to take those 30 second exposures over and over and over and then stack them in Photoshop or in some other software. So this makes that process way easier. You can also do really cool light painting or take shots during the day where you can see the clouds moving or get a silky waterfall or get a sunset picture with really abstract looking clouds and it is all done in camera. No Photoshop work required. So I hope this video has been helpful. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Again, my name is Alex McGregor and as we leave, we're going to show you some other awesome photos that you can get with a live composite feature on Olympus cameras.